Hey, welcome back. This is part two of Motion Graphics. Today, um, this part we're going to start putting together the text. Uh, down here again on our project window, we are are basically zooming in on the wave file so that we can actually analyze what parts, in this case Rihanna, what parts she's singing in the video. So if I scrub through by dragging this little marker here, she's saying I'm that first part. So if you press the asterisk key on Adobe and Pre Premiere Pro CS5, it should put a little marker uh, in CS5, CS6 and above you press M, but in yours you should press the asterisk key. I'm, and you can tell from the audio signature here, and I'm going to drag some of this up if I can to give me more space. I'm friends. So right now I'm going through an analysis process. I'm just analyzing the audio track and I'm putting markers to help me determine where to put a file. I'm she starts saying friends right here. Put a marker there. She says with the She says it for very short, not very long there. I'm going to move a little bit down here. This is very fine detail work, so just take your time. Go scrub down a little more. I'm friends with the... She says monster right here. I'm going to slide this key, for this marker a little bit down. And I can just play it back. So if you press the space bar key, that's a shortcut to play back. I just kind of play it back to, to take a listen. Monster. Okay, that's kind of where it ends. I'm going to put a marker right there. That's under my... And you, after a while, when you look at the waves, you can actually see when she says a new word or the artist, because you can you can see the actual peaks on the wave file, right? It just makes sense. So I've broken down the files with a bunch of markers, and that's going to help me get started. So that's the first step: break down your audio. Uh, you don't have to break down the whole song for this tutorial. For the first part, just follow along by breaking down the, the first line of the lyrics. And if you don't know the lyrics to the song, you can just go on Google, type in the monster lyrics, and you can usually find um, something like this to, to tell you I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed. So uh, you can usually find that information. I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed. Put a marker there. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what's going to show up on the actual screen. And I started with, I'm friends with the monster. That's all I want showing up initially. First thing I'm going to do is zoom in again. Use your mountains to, to help you out with this, to, to get more detail in there. To make text, it's very simple. You click on title, new title, default still. And you really want to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to say I'm. I'm going to turn my caps lock key on. All right, and then this dialog here appears on your screen. Okay, so the way I set it up initially is I had I'm really small the the text there. So click on the text tool if it's not selected. Okay, and you should be able to draw a box. So I'm going to draw a box about this big, and I'm going to type in the words I'm. I like my favorite font, and you can use the fonts down here. My favorite font is Impact. It's a great font that I like to use because it's very bold. Now, I just changed to Impact and my font disappeared. What you can do is click on the arrow and actually slide over the little text boxes, these little markers to expose it. 
Also, if you click on your text or select it, you can change the size of the text on the right hand side. Now, you can type in the value or you can use the slider. I like using the slider. If you, if you put the mouse over the number, a little hand appears that will allow you to adjust and slide left, slide left and right. To do this though, I, I click on the actual, I click on the numbers and then I, I drag, click, click drag basically, left and right. Okay, if you need help with that, just, just let me know. I'm gonna leave it at 100 for now because um, this seems to work. So I'm gonna leave it there, I am, I am, and then after that I just press the X. Once you do that, it shows up in your project window at the very top left. Drag that down to your marker, the first marker onto video channel one. And then play it back by pressing the space bar. I'm, I'm friends with the cool. The next one I'm going to go to is I'm going to select, I'm going to move my marker down to the, the second marker right here that I place where she's going to start saying friends. Now this word friends, I'm going to, the next thing I'm going to do is go back to title, new title, default still, call this one friends. We got to do it one step at a time. As long as the marker is over the word I'm, right, you can see over it, you can see you can see the layer below it, right? So if you're not seeing this, it might mean that your marker is off screen. Uh, let me jump back for a quick second here, just so we're all on the same page. So ignore everything for right now. Just stop what you're doing. Just, just take a quick listen. Uh, this word I'm, Make sure you drag it by moving the file past the second marker. This actually needs to be further down. So I am, the this word has to go all the way to the very last word she's going to say in this particular part. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the second marker, go back to title, new title, default still. Call it friends, and then we're going to... Now this is your own creative choice. This is the way I approached it. I'm going to draw a box, slightly bigger box, like this big. Type in the word friends. And you notice the font is different. I'm going to press Control A to select all of the text, or just left click, drag to select all of the text. Click up here. I'm going to type in the word impact. Press Enter to change it to impact. Now, I need this text to be a little bigger. So, and you can tell it's kind of off. So if I click on this arrow tool, I can press up or down on the arrow key to move it up in place. Go back to my text tool, select my text, make sure it's highlighted. I'm going to increase the font size a little bit bigger around there. You see how it gets cut off? That's okay. I'm going to get my arrow and drag the box to expose it. There we go. Press the X. Drag. Whenever you close it, it shows up in your project window. Drag the friends to the second box on video two. So make sure we're on video two now. We're not on video one. We're on video two. And I'm going to drag friends all the way to the very end. So we'll play back. I'm friends with them. So that's appearing now. The next word, with. So we're going to go to the third one. So you should be familiar with this now. Go to title. New title. Default still. Call this with. You got to make sure you stay organized. If you don't, you're going to get confused. So make sure you're constantly naming the, the stuff that's supposed to be. I'm going to write the word with right here. So I'm, I'm creating a box with. Control A to select it. Change it to impact for my font. I want the font to be a little bit bigger. Use my arrow tool to adjust the size. Go back to my text tool, select all of the text. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to press X. And then it goes to here at the very end. Then I click it, drag it down to my timeline to the third one, drag it all the way down to the end. I'm friends with the mom. So next word is the, which is this next one. See, as long as you set up everything, it's pretty easy. Type in the word the. Select my text tool, draw a box right here. Type in the word the, use impact for my font.
I'm going to make it different than what I did before. I'm going to leave it this small. I'm, I'm okay with that. Press the X. Drag the onto here. So I just realized now I need to I'm gonna so what I'm gonna do is I gotta extend all of this. I gotta extend all this text. So if you go to the very right end of the the video clip, you can actually drag it down. I need to drag this down because the word monster is pretty long. So let's play it back. I went back, I scrubbed all the way back, press the spacebar to play. So she says monster right here. So I'm going to this particular clip there. As you can tell, we're already on video four. Uh, there's You can make an infinite amount or a lot of different video clips. I don't know if it's infinite, but you get the idea. I'm going to go to title, new title, default still. Type in the word monster so I know what I'm working with here. Take my text tool, and I want the word monster to appear offset a little bit, like right here. And this is different from what I did earlier, but that's okay. You can do it differently as well. Type in monster, select it all. Type impact for my text. I'm going to make the text bigger up until this point right here. Um, maybe Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the X button for right now. I'm going to go back to the. So maybe you made a mistake. Maybe you want to change something. You can just click on the timeline or the clip of it, double click on it, and it'll open this back up. I'm thinking I'm going to actually make the font the bigger here. So a couple of other things you can do is you can actually change the tracking to actually extend the size of the text, right, if that works for you. Uh, it doesn't work for me here make it zero again. Let's change the font size. Just gonna make it bigger here. Go. There you go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the word monster right here. It doesn't really work but it doesn't. The idea is to kind of blend it in so it it works for you so it looks nice. Press the X button, so now it says that. Go back to my monster, I'm going to drag it. My monster text is up here on my project file, I'm going to drag it down. Double click on it, and I can edit this down. I'm going to shrink it down, and I want it to appear... Right there. You get the idea, it's not perfect. I'm going to drag this further down. I'm friends with the monster. There you go. I'm friends with the monster. The sun. All right. So that's the basics of setting it up. And a few things you want to do next is open these little tabs up. And if you're familiar with it, if you remember, there's this yellow line here that controls the opacity or the transparency of the file. If you hold Control and you click at the very beginning, and you go down just a bit, and you click there. These little points appear. If you let go of control, you can actually click drag down this point so it, it fades in. I'm friends with and I'm going to do that for each one. I'm going to click, hold control and click, hold control and click, drag those points down so I can fade the video in. Click the arrow there to expose the video file. Right. <laughs> I'm friends with the monster, the son of And you get the idea. After that, you continue on with the next part of, of that verse. And I really want you to try and complete as much of this chorus as possible. Just the chorus part. And then after that, uh, continue on with the assignment that I'm asking for you to do.